Hello students the next topic under the unit fuzzy numbers is fuzzy equations what are these fuzzy equations first of all we should know that these equations play a major role in fuzzy set theory in which the fuzzy numbers and the arithmetic operations on fuzzy numbers play a fundamental role now these equations in which the coefficients and the unknowns are fuzzy numbers now here the unknown is x and here the unknown is x and this is a fuzzy number and the formulas are constructed by operations of fuzzy arithmetic now in this section we will be trying to solve these equations where these a and b are fuzzy numbers and x is the unknown fuzzy number and uh, these two uh, and it satisfies these two equations we should also understand that fuzzy equations has greater applications which we will see later now in this video we will be solving the equation a plus x is equal to b so solve for x in the equation a plus x equal to b as the first step what we have to do is we have to show that x equal to b minus uh, a is not a solution of this equation so before finding the solution first we must show that x equal to b minus a is not a solution so what could be the solution that will that is what we will be evaluating later so first let us show show that x equal to b minus a is not a solution so the first step is to show that x equal to b minus a is not a solution now in order to show this first we shall consider the closed intervals a which is equal to a1 comma a2 and the closed interval b which is equal to b1 comma b2 now we uh, we have to consider x so what is this x x is equal to b minus a so that is equal to what is b b1 comma b2 minus a is closed interval a1 comma a2 and how to do the subtraction already we have seen the so, so interval arithmetic properties where we learned the subtraction of two intervals so it will be b1 minus a2 so b1 minus a2 comma b2 minus a1 so b2 minus a1 so this is capital x so now we shall consider this equation a plus x is equal to b so we we shall take the left hand side that is a plus x we will have so a plus x now what is a a is a1 comma a2 plus x is this is just now we have evaluated it so we shall substitute that b1 minus a2 comma b2 minus a1 so this is equal to what now addition of these two intervals so it is a1 plus b1 minus a2 comma a2 plus b2 minus a1 which is not actually this if a1 is equal to a2 in that case b1 the, the this interval will be equal to b1 comma b2 but it is not like that so this is not equal to closed interval b1 comma b2 whenever a1 is not equal to a2 so this is not equal to capital b so we get a plus x to be not equal to capital b for this solution so we understand that x equal to b, uh, b minus a is not a solution of this equation so next step is what is that we are going to evaluate the solution of this equation yes to do that so here i have written to find the solution of this equation so we have to take the interval x to be equal to x1 comma x2 so let capital x be equal to this and capital a is equal to a1 comma a2 and from this equation what do we get a plus x is equal to b 
from which we can write like this a is a1 uh, comma a2 plus x is x1 comma x2 which is equal to a1 plus x2 i mean x1 comma a2 plus x2 and it follows that this is equal to b1 comma b2 so uh, th this results in two ordinary equations of real numbers that is we know that a1 plus x1 is equal to b1 so we will write here so this implies that a1 plus x1 is equal to b1 and then we it we also observe that a2 plus x2 is equal to b2 so from this we see that x1 is equal to b1 minus a1 and from this we see that x2 is equal to b2 minus a2 now since capital x x must be an interval it is required that x1 has to be lesser than or equal to x2 so x1 is lesser than or equal to x2 now if a what is x1 b1 minus a1 has to be lesser than or equal to b2 minus a2 so therefore the equation has a solution if and only if this condition is satisfied that is b1 minus a1 is lesser than or equal to b2 minus a2 so if this inequality is satisfied the solution is capital x is equal to b1 minus a1 comma b2 minus a2 so this is the solution now since any fuzzy number is uniquely represented by its alpha cuts which are closed intervals the described procedure that we have done here can be applied to alpha cuts of arbitrary fuzzy numbers so let us see that now so now we will consider an alpha to be an element of open interval 0 comma closed interval 1 now the alpha cut of the interval a will be alpha cut of a which will be equal to alpha cut of a1 comma alpha cut of a2 similarly we have the alpha cut of the interval b alpha cut of the interval x so all these three denotes the alpha cuts of a b and x respectively of the equation x a plus x equal to b so in this equation we have the alpha cuts of a b and x over here now uh, then the, this equation will have a solution only if two properties are satisfied so let us see what are those two properties so the first property is alpha cut of b1 minus alpha cut of a1 should be lesser than or equal to alpha cut of b2 minus alpha cut of a2 it is similar to this one that is we saw that it will have a solution only if satisfies the inequality b b1 minus a1 is lesser than or equal to b2 minus a2 now similarly alpha cut of b1 minus alpha cut of a2 has to be lesser than or equal to alpha cut of b2 minus alpha cut of a2 so this is the first property property now next we shall see the second property before that we have to understand that this property ensures that the interval equation alpha cut of a plus alpha cut of x is equal to alpha cut of b has a solution which is alpha cut of x is equal to closed interval alpha cut of b1 minus alpha cut of a1 comma alpha cut of b2 minus alpha cut of a2 this is similar to the cases that we saw previously so uh, this uh, this property ensures that this will be a solution it is because just now we saw here see here this inequality ensured that the solution will be this in a similar way we do it for the interval equation that is the alpha cut of a plus alpha cut of x equal to alpha cut of b now next we shall see the second property so the next property is if alpha is lesser than or equal to beta so we will consider another beta element of open interval 0 comma closed interval 1 so now if this alpha is lesser than beta then it implies that alpha b1 minus alpha a1 is lesser than or equal to beta cut of b1 minus beta cut of a1 and this will be lesser than or equal to beta cut of b2 
minus beta cut of a2 which will be lesser than or equal to alpha cut of b2 minus alpha cut of a2 so the these two lie in between these two so in between these two values these two values lie and so we this inequality will be satisfied so alpha lesser than or equal to beta implies this so this property actually ensures that the solutions of the interval equations for alpha and beta are nested now what is nested actually so by the property of nested nested it says that if alpha is lesser than or equal to beta then it implies that beta cut of x should be a subset of alpha cut of x okay so this is the nested property so if a solution alpha x exists for every alpha element of close open interval 0 comma closed interval 1 then property 2 is satisfied so the solution x of the fuzzy equation will be given by previously we have seen a theorem where that if this property is satisfied then the solution will be given by x is equal to union of all the special fuzzy sets if you see the previous videos you will understand uh, that we have done this already so you will understand it better open interval 0 comma closed interval 1 so uh, this is the solution of x so hope you have understood uh, th these concepts thank you